Hello there! We've been working on 3D models lately and we were trying to replicate the classic anime eyes over hair effect uh, similar to that of the Wind Waker. After struggling with blenders, shaders and realizing how messy handling materials in Godot can be, we finally made a shader to solve this issue. I like to note that I didn't do this alone, uh, to be honest, I just put everything together. All the credit goes to Midroom from the Godot forums who found a solution for this and the original Reddit post where the solution came from. Also thanks to Jasper RLZ who made a video explaining how Wind Waker achieved this effect. So you can find the full code below, feel free to use it, fork it and so on. Let's see how to set the materials using this shader. Here in Godot, my mesh is divided into three parts. The body, which is just the hair for now, uh, the face and the eyes. This was imported from Blender, so you need to recreate the material before making any changes to it. So in the surface material override, you recreate the material and you can simply copy and paste the original properties and it should work. The important thing to do is to create a new shader material and apply the code to it. It's important to set the render priority to 1 or higher as I ran into some rendering issues in testing. This makes sure that uh, this mesh is rendered first. For shader parameters, uh, we're going to use def offset and albedo texture. For the latter, uh, you need to assign the same texture that the original material is already using. Now, the eyebrows and the eyes will appear in front of the hair mesh. What determines uh, the rendering order is the depth of set variable. If I set to zero, it'll look exactly like my Blender model. Note that you need to be careful with this variable. If set too high, the mesh will be rendered over everything else. I didn't find any issues with small values like uh, 0.2 for instance. However, sometimes you might notice a small part of the mesh appearing diagonally, so you can adjust the numbers a bit. However, if your game is a top-down game like mine, I don't think this will be an issue. As I'm not a shader expert, if you have any suggestions on how to improve it, I'd really appreciate it. So, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time!